Rise Festival 2022. Basically, you can take a shuttle here from one of the Vegas hotels, or you can drive and pay $35 parking. No security lines, lines are short. They don't do any Ubers or Lyfts out here. It's pretty much in the middle of nowhere, uh, about 30 minutes away from the strip. Basically, you get a bag that kind of has a four lanterns in there, and then it's just going to have a couple things around there. That Here's a map that shows you from the north, south, east, and west. Uh, if you get there early, the line for the rice sign isn't too long, so it goes by quickly, and then the moon sign line isn't too long either. But if you arrive later, the line gets longer. If you arrive early, it's kind of hot outside, but it's not too bad. But if you arrive later, the sun does go down, and it gets kind of cold. A lot of open space, a lot of room to walk, but make sure to wear something that you don't mind getting dusty and dirty. Pizza was good. Uh, about 20 bucks for this. And then teriyaki bowl was okay. Food is going to be expensive. Meditation center goes on. It's pretty cool. It's a place where you can get away from the sun. A couple artifacts around the area you can take pictures of. Eckler drink. It's like lemon and turmeric. It's okay. It's free. And then the sunset is a beautiful thing to see. And then make sure to probably bring your own marker. They have they give you a marker, but it burns nicely. And then you just set your lanterns up. It's just a beauty thing of beauty. It's something you can watch, but you have to be there to experience it. It does take two or three people to hold this up and light it up. I was unable to record the video because it was hard to record and light it up and you get fireworks at the end. But just make sure to be aware of other people releasing their lanterns because they can come flying at you if they don't do it right. And this is the end result of all the dust.